progress is moving on in Re Project Rally Cuda, but I'm taking a break to work on some of my air conditioning parts. That's one of the bigger upgrades I'm going to be doing to my car. Now, it's been widely accepted that 1966 was the first year you could get the integrated air conditioning heater box assembly for an A body. Well, you could have gotten it actually in 1965 as well. I've got a few parts to actually show you here. But any of you guys have the, those early uh, vacuum controls, have you ever wondered how that integrated controller works? I took one apart, I'm going to show you what's inside. Hang on. Okay, what you're looking at is the bracket, switch, and vacuum controller for the 1966 setup. You see the switch over here, you've got your one lever for your manual cable control, and uh, this is your vacuum controller. In the back, you have various wired connections, and you have, uh, this is where your vacuum controls go to. Uh, you have one vacuum source on the bottom, it's the center of the three down here. And the other ones go to your various vacuum actuators on your heater AC box. And typically this is your off position and push this one for max AC, that one's for AC, heater, and then the frost. And see how easy that worked? Ever, ever wondered what it does in there to move the vacuum around and the switch and everything else like that? I've taken one apart. So this is what it would look like. Put it together. Okay, your buttons are on the back side here. On your vacuum side, that's what it looks like on, on the inside of the switch. If you look at all the holes there, that one top row there, the bigger one, that's your vacuum source. The other six are your go out to your actuators. And there's a six of them so that goes two to each of the three actuators because you have a push and a pull on the vacuum and that's the vacuum is transmitted by this little rubber deal here see the H that fits inside that slot and there's a notch back here now over on this side you have a switch basically it's on and off they'll slide back and forth you get two contacts you get your two contacts let me just flip this over see there's a notch there because this slides back and forth as well. Well, what moves those? Take a look in here. This is a little tab right there. That'll go into the slot here. The tab there is going to go into the slot for that one. So how do they slide back and forth? When the buttons move, these things will slide this way and that way and do what they need to do. Either be off in an off position or they'll slide one way and move this vacuum switch this direction or it'll go this way and move it just over that way a little bit or this one will come in and move this one over to make contact. That's basically what's inside there. It's a mechanical electrical vacuum AC controller for your car. So whoever came up with this whole idea of, of pushing these buttons, sliding these little sliders around to get them to move a little rubber deal so you can pass the vacuum from one side to another, either push or pull an actuator, and then the electrical connection over here, the guy who made this is a genius of, of, of mechanical, electrical, and vacuum. But that's how they did it back then. And they used these actuators you know, in the 60s and up through the 70s. And you can actually buy replacements of these. Um, I haven't priced them in a while. The last time I checked, they're about 30 to 40 bucks. So if you uh, have one and you need to replace it, you, you can get, buy them pretty cheap. Now, take a look where the buttons go in. All these little pieces, the plastic gets really hard and brittle over years. So when you go to snap them buttons back in, they don't snap so well. I mean, they. they kind of go in, it's supposed to hold in place, but if you break off too many of the tabs, they're not going to hold on too well. They'll fall right out just like that. So getting a new one of these is probably high in your priority list if you're rebuilding one of these original AC systems. Now, like I said, 1966, you thought it was the first year? You could get it in 1965 as well. This is this whole setup here one without the light, 
I got this from a guy who pulled it off of a 1965 Barracuda. They were out there, probably late 65, but they were there. So, little tidbits on uh, early A-body air conditioning controls. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, and uh, we'll talk to you again real soon. Thanks.